There, that about finishes that tree. Let me tell you a little bit about what we've done on this tree to get it into shape. This is an old tree like a lot of people's, a lot of people have in their backyards. And uh, what we did first was remove a lot of the water sprouts that were coming up in the center of the tree. We need to get those out to get the sunlight in to initiate a lot of fruit buds. Next thing we did was take out no more than two or three large branches for the tree. And a large branch is determined by the size of the tree. When you saw those off, you want to be careful not to leave stubs there. The stubs will die back, give you a rotten area in the tree, and then you'll have trouble uh, keeping your tree alive. Saw them off just at the collar here, right at the base. If you saw it off too close, we'll have too much of an injury. Next thing we did was remove branches that had weak or narrow branch angles. These tend to build up bark in the center there, and as a result, we get a weak branch, and the branch can tend to crack off, particularly when we've got a heavy fruit load. Next thing we did was go up into the top of the tree. Old trees tend to get pretty high. What we did was try to bring the top down a little bit on this tree, and you do that by cutting the branch, cutting a branch off to a lateral that's gone out away from the center of the tree. By doing that, we'll lower that tree down. It'll be easier to spray it, easier to pick the fruit, and general maintenance on the tree. The last thing we did was work on this tree to thin it out. We wanted to remove some of these branches that are getting a little bit thick with spurs and so forth on the tree. There, that about finishes this tree. All we've got to do is thin it out a little bit more next year and we'll be in good shape. Now all we've got to do is make sure we get our dormant oil spray on before spring. If you have further questions about pruning fruit trees, contact your local county extension office.